Hello. I will be your narrator for the following segment. Please pay very close attention. What I will be discussing today concerns space, space and time. What one must understand is the moment of creation, starting with the Big Bang, which came from the point of singularity and kept expanding, expanding. Then we get all the little galaxies to the point they are at today. We can see back 13 billion years. Okay, as the matter expands, the galaxies, the dark matter, whatever it may be, it's going out like this ever since the moment of the Big Bang in all directions. Outside of here, you cannot simply have a viewer sitting in a chair like this one, sitting here watching with joy as the Big Bang started from one little point like magic the moment of creation of our universe. This could not be possible because this little man in his little chair could not exist in nothing. This would literally be nothing outside of the expansion of space and time. So in the truest sense nothing really did exist at one point and it still exists outside of the expansion zone at the edge of the known universe. So, that should give you something to think about on that. Another thing that I have a little theory I have come up with that concerns how I can prove that space is not infinite but instead for night. If you take a ball and put it in a giant pool, it would in fact distort the pool. Why does it distort the pool? It's all due with the distortion of the water, the expansion, therefore the water will rise no matter how big a pool it is unless the pool goes on for infinity. If the pool is finite, though so you can detect the distortion, my theory states that the same thing holds true for space. When an object like the sun is in the space, it distorts space all around it. Space and time which is really in essence what gravity is once you think of things in a fourth dimensional term which is really really not possible for human beings to be able to comprehend but it's fun to think about if space was infinite there would be no distortion by the matter such as our bodies the stars or black holes which stretch it to the limit. So my theory states that space in fact does have boundaries but outside of where the matter has expanded there is nothing nothing whatsoever just like before the Big Bang or at least at this part of where stuff exists so, God or no God, something started all this. One makes as much sense as the other. But, 
I think it is for fact that space is finite. Also, if a traveler could in some way travel faster than the speed of light to get to the edge, he would in fact find there would be no edge. He would just circle around and come back to where he began. So, we will never understand all of this fully, but it is something to think about.